In this video, we're going to focus on how to change the font color of the labels in the Chart.js plugin labels. So this is part seven. And basically we have here now our labels here. And what we would like to do is, for example, we want to push them back here on the inside. Basically what we call this the border and everything outside here is called outside. So let's push it back in the border of the arc or better that are the inside. So if we scroll down here, we go back here, we're going to say your position border, save that. And then we have to load here, my internet's a bit slow. All right, so you can see here loads. And then what we want to do here is, for example, the font color. So we want to say your font color, all we have to type is your font color with capital C. And if we want to select certain items to give it a color, that's what we can do here by making this an array value. And then we could say here, for example, well, we can just grab here our colors. Let's get the border colors. There will be the text colors or the font colors here. Well, if you do that, you might know that it's quite hard to see. Well, we'll see how that eventually develops. But we're just going to paste it in here. Save that and then refresh. And you can see here, all right, it's still quite acceptable and visible. So you can see here Monday, Tuesday, etc., etc. So that's quite nice here. And this is very simple because if you would hide away a few, you will see that this will respond similar to the old Chart.js version 2, meaning that it will not loop to, a, again, the colors. Because if you're very familiar with the color structure in Chart.js 3, it will loop through these colors consistently. Even if you have three, it will loop in a segment of three. However, here, it will just stop. It will not give this anymore a red color like here, and then this one will be blue, and etc., etc. It will just become a default color. So that's the only difference here to consider, but that's basically here what you can do to adjust the color. And of course, this here probably will work as well with the font size. And we, we can do that as well as well. We can do the font sizes quickly. And let's say here, uh, let's make it 20 pixels, comma, save, refresh here. And then you can see here, there you are. So we increase the font size as well. So this is quite straightforward adjustments of the you know, default settings of the font.